This orange hothead damsel has to be one of my favourite flies, not just of springtime, but all the way through spring, summer, and even back end. This is a true fish catcher. It will catch you plenty of fish, not only on small waters, but larger reservoirs and in crystal clear water, but also fish this in coloured water. With its hot head, the fish will sure pick this out. Right, so today I'm going to start off with uh, an intermediate line. Uh, this is uh, an intermediate, a fast glass, anything that sinks at around one, one and a half inches per second. Uh, I'm going to start with the ever faithful uh, hot head orange damsel. Uh, you'll notice the tail's wet. It's not because I've been fishing, it's because before uh, I start, I always wet the marabou. So the fly is fishing straight away. If you leave it dry, sometimes it sits on the surface just a bit too long. This way, just wet it in the edge. Uh, as soon as the fly lands, you're fishing. The marabou will open and you'll get all that lovely movement which you want in your damsel patterns. Uh, just going to start off with a single fly on a 12 foot leader, 8 pound Sierra fluorocarbon and we'll give it a go and see how we get on. The beauty with fishing lures or a damsel pattern like this one itself is you'll catch the fish on so many different retrieves. Don't think you have to fish one retrieve all the time. And what I like to do is I like to start from the top and then work my way down. So first cast I'll bring straight back. A few quick chop jerks into a figure of eight. Just so you're getting that damsel and the tail moving in the water. Oh, add a little pull then. And then as you come up, especially if you get a take like that, just lift your rod nice and slow and it's what's called the hang or the lift. With that change of direction of the fly, you can take a lot of fish. Once you see the hot head there, another cast. Don't be afraid with your damsel patterns as well, is to fish down the margins, because obviously the damsels will be hatching, crawling up, up the stems of the uh, vegetation around the lake. This time, there's a fish there, straight in front of us. And that tells us we're in the right area. So it's down to myself now. And I'm sure this hothead damsel will do the damage. Don't be afraid, I've had a few takes on the intermediate, but when I've been counting down, so when you leave it, to even count down to 20, 30 seconds, try and find out from the fishery owner how deep the water is. I know, I've fished this a couple of times now, I'm in the deepest area of the lake. That bright sun, the water temperature is warming up, I think those fish will be down deeper. Again, don't be too quick to, to cast out and bring it back. Oh, don't tap that. Yep. There we go. That was on a 24, 25 second count there. You can see how deep the even this intermediate line is. Coming up in this clear water. Let's see. There he is. I don't know he's hooked yet, quickly in the net. There we go. So here we have the actual adult damsel itself. But you can see why our flies work so well. You've got the green, even a bit of blue in its tail. But with that long tail and the long wings, or when it's under the water with a long tail, its movement is replicated by our marabou. And again, the size of the damsel. It's obviously quite a big fly and quite a big nymph in the water. But that's why we sell them in 10s, 12s. Perfect. Taking the hothead damsel. So what I've done is I've set up my floating line. I was getting a lot of pulls on the intermediate. And on heavily pressured small waters. Oh, they see a lot of lures and you get a lot of tail nips. So what I've done, get this one, there she goes. What I did, is I put the, uh, the fast male fish pimp indicator on, set it about nine foot, 
uh, the 3D buzzer on the dropper, the damsel on the point, and uh, what that does is it suspends the, the lure at a certain depth, and they're not used to seeing the fly moving past them. They don't associate it with danger. Bang. That's the result. As I'm sure you know now, our fantastic packs uh, here at Fast Mail, uh, a great value for money, top quality flies, and here is one of our biggest selling packs. It's the 10 Modern Pro Damsels, also available in 20. Uh, it gives you such a huge variety of damsels. Like you've seen, we can catch them on the blue ones, the unweighted ones and the weighted ones in different conditions. This pack offers you them all. There's the uh, nice bluey. There's the proof in the pudding. Fishing static is the way forward. Just because you've got a lure on doesn't mean you need to be pulling it back at 100 mile an hour or fishing it on a floater or a sinker. As you can see, I've got it on one of our fish pimps, set at nine foot, and that's two in two casts. Lovely, lively, bluey, crystal clear water. And as opposed to damsels, when they they won't be on the move all the time, they'll have to rest sometimes. And that's what's proving irresistible. Aye. Strong blue trout. Trying to take me in the reeds. The last one didn't know it's hooked, this one knows it's hooked. There she is, lovely. The flies come out in the net. But look at this. For a lovely, lovely. Springtime blue trout. What a fish. Put it back. And like I said, the fly come out in the net. And proof in the pudding there. And that took the blue flash cat damsel there. With its chain bead eyes, the flash coming out the, the head, and obviously that lovely dark olive. Marabou tail.